There are many different natural landforms that shape our world. We have mountains, valleys, plains, and plateaus, and they all connect to the environment around them in unique ways. These landforms may seem like just part of the landscape, but they play a huge role in how people live and interact with the world. But before we dive into all the details, we've got a fun activity to get started. Imagine you could create your own landform, one that's not just part of the landscape, but also reflects who you are. What would it look like? Where would it be? How would it represent you? Here's how it works. You're going to design your own landform, a mountain, valley, plateau, or plain that represents you. But we're gonna add some extra details to make it personal and creative. You'll be drawing a landform that you choose to represent yourself, a background that shows the region or location where your landform would exist, such as mountains surrounded by forests, a valley by a river, or a plain in a desert. And you'll also give your landform a name, something unique and meaningful to you or named after you. Finally, here's the best part. You'll add four symbols or features that are built into the landform that represent important parts of your personality, values, or interests. These symbols and features can be anything, animals, objects, patterns, or colors, whatever speaks to you. For example, maybe you love soccer and want to design a mountain that has a unique soccer ball pattern. That's a feature that represents you. Here's a checklist to guide you. Step one, choose your landform. Will your landform be a towering mountain, a peaceful valley, a flat plain, or a broad plateau? Mountains, valleys, plains, and plateaus are the four types of landforms that we'll be learning about this year. Choose a landform that reflects something about you, whether it's strength, calm, openness, or stability. Step two, plan your background. Think about where your landform is located. Is it surrounded by forests, next to a river, or in the middle of a desert? Draw the background to show the environment your landform belongs in. Step three, add four symbols or features that represent you. Draw four symbols or features on the landform that represent key aspects of who you are. Some examples are, the shape of the landform can be similar to your favorite animal or an instrument you play. The patterns or colors of the landform can represent the hobbies you do or the sports you play. Symbols that are personal to you, like the flag of your culture or your favorite video game console can be carved into the landform. Get creative with how you incorporate them, and it's okay if these features make your landform look a little unrealistic. Step four, name your landform. Give your landform a name that's unique to you. It could be something that represents your personality or values or simply named after you. As you design your landform, think about how everything works together. The landform represents you and your strengths. The background shows where your landform exists in the world. The four symbols bring in the personal elements that make your landform one of a kind. And the name gives your creation a unique identity. When you're finished, you might share your landform with your classmates. You'll get to explain why you chose your specific landform, what the background says about its location, what your landform's name means, and how the four symbols reflect who you are. This activity isn't just about creating something fun. It's a way to help you start thinking about how landforms fit into the world and how they connect to the environment around them. Throughout this unit, we'll be learning about real-world landforms, how they're created, and how they shape the regions where they're found. By designing your own landform, you're getting a head start on understanding how landforms are tied to their surroundings, and how they can even reflect personal and cultural values. Let's get started.